Hi everyone and welcome back to Steel Division. I've got a bit of a confession here to make. <clears throat> I made this video a short time ago but made a really bad mistake. I've left my speaker uh, microphone on mute. So when I went back to play it there was nothing there. So I'm just going to this is a dub over of an existing game about an hour ago. Um, it's a game between Panzer, Lair and 2nd Infantry. Yeah, it is on easy. It's a destruction game, not a conquest game, and it is a two by two. Couldn't find the matchups I wanted on the servers, so the opposition and my ally are both all AI. Now, because I'm playing Panzer Lair, as you would be aware, you don't get a lot of infantry with Panzer Lair. You get a lot of good tanks if you save up your points and you survive the game to phase C. So I've had to uh, develop a plan to look after my infantry while at the same time um, being able to hold the enemy at bay until I can get into phase B and phase C with sufficient points. So basically, if you can see the cursor, I'm gonna take that area there with some infantry, some light forces around this area with an anti-tank gun screen from left through to right. Once I get into phase B and phase C, then it's all gonna be about tanks. So in phase A and phase B, it's all gonna be about artillery. So the artillery to keep the opposition at bay and then tanks to slowly push forward to hopefully create havoc. But without any ado, let's get into it and we'll see how we go. Should see an attack beacon come up very, very shortly over on the left hand side. Might just move it forward. There we go, we're into it now. <coughs> so, so, so far, so good. Not a lot of enemy activity while the Panzer Grenadiers are rushing into their appointed positions. You start to see some anti tank screens coming up over on the uh, mid screen, and there's also an anti tank run on that far left flank for anything that tries to sneak through. Uh, Allies, the 9th Panzer is the yellow. They're starting to deploy and pushing forward rather early, but that's rather game. And nice start trying to take out the uh, T 30 half track. And nice start for the Major. So I'm just moving around the half tracks now. I don't want to present any easy targets for the anti tank gun that's popped up in the top right hand of your picture on the runway. So I'll just move those around. and moving some infantry and half tracks forward just to provide some some light fire if anything just try to pre penetrate into the hangars right you can see my um, recon infantry with half track support just in the middle of the screen there just on the edge of the runway area and I've got a puma just sitting a little bit further back to support them to move forward if it needs to Got some anti-aircraft out, and I also have a, uh, a stork, and very shortly I will have some Fokker Wolf dive bombers, uh, Fokker Wolf fighter bombers. Right, so I'm pretty happy with the disposition there now. Got some infantry in the hedges, good fields of uh, vision if infantry does come out in the open. There you go, so I've tried to protect my infantry as much as I can, give them some hard cover. They've got support from the half tracks, but I've tried to keep them out of the field of view of the uh, anti-tank guns. You can see the allies now, the second infantry has got a screen of anti-tank guns coming forward. <coughs> and this will probably result in a bit of a standoff with them waiting for me to attack and I'm waiting for them to push forward because I'm happy to wait until I get to phase B and um, start accruing some artillery, some additional aircraft, and then in phase C, hopefully I'll go mad buying Tigers and King Tigers. All right, so let's just get that 
anti-tank gun and half track further further north along that hedgerow just to give a better feel to fire. Right, so the ninth Panthers pushing. But the problem with pushing out through the runway and taxiway areas is you can get flanked from the from the buildings on the far right flank. Oh, everything's looking all right there. Happy with that. Plenty of anti-tank guns, but they're just keeping just out of range. Yep, so that open area there between the buildings or the, the hangars is a bit of a killing field between the two machine guns. Alright, so that half track moved back away from the field of fire of the potentially of the anti tank gun. Not a bad field of fire for the Puma, but I don't want it any further forward because of those anti tank guns. Alright, so now the Allies are starting to bring up some infantry. Hopefully they push forward between the half tracks and the machine uh, MG42s, which are in hard cover. Should be able to make mincemeat of those. You can see there, I just can't, haven't got much that I can bring out yet until phase B, which is still another three and a half on, just under four minutes away. So not a lot happening on this left flank. Second infantry is still bringing up reinforcements. And the 9th Panzer is continuing to reinforce their own position. Just out of range, that duck. Which is unfortunate. Nice soft target for an anti-tank gun. Yeah. A fair bit of movement on the right flank with the ninth Panzer, but... Once again, I don't want to waste, put my infantry to the sword unnecessarily. So the Allies are going to have to attack and push in. Right, so, uh, yep, I'm in the field of view of the anti-tank guns. We'll just move that half-track back, I think. There we go. Can't get it now. All right, so I've just moved the speed up a bit. There's not a lot happening at the moment. No need to waste time. Now if we do that, <coughs> I get closer to phase B. So we're nearly there, 50 seconds. All right, 17 seconds to phase B. Panthers taking a few losses there. Three, two, one. 
Come on, one more, one more, one more. There we go, phase B. Right, don't have a lot of points. Let's get a couple of bombers. And now, let's use those bombers to get rid of the anti-tank guns as a starting point. Nice hit. There we go. That's good. <clears throat> Should be able to get my bombers out of there before the Allied fighters get there. And hopefully, Jeppard can do some damage. There we go. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. To starting to bring artillery on, bringing on WEPs, two of them, with a maximum range of 2,400 metres, which means that big blob of blue on the left flank is going to come under attack. <coughs> Too early to get any more aircraft. So those anti-tank guns I want to get rid of. Once I do that and then we get later into phase B and start of phase C, then I can start bringing my heavy tanks forward with less concerns about them getting knocked out. Let's just move the webs a little bit closer before... What is he doing out there? What the heck? I'm going to get killed. And there you go. That anti-tank gun is just waiting for something like that. Bloody AI, I don't know why it does that. Even it's my vehicle. I didn't move it out there. <coughs> That's what we want. We're going to get rid of those anti-tank guns. Thank you. See if the fighter bombers can get rid of this M4. Nope, but it is pushing it back, so that's good. So for the flak, let's get the Spitfire. It was a good hit on the uh, uh, infantry just then. Oh dear. There goes my fucker wolf. Actually, I think it was a 109. not doing a lot of damage at the moment, but I am achieving what I wanted to do by keeping the allies back. Got five minutes to phase C. And 
and force move. Come on, lovely shot. And that's why the anti-tank guns are there. So as far as points go at the moment, we're a little bit behind the AI. Let's see where these land might have to adjust the range. I oh know, it's good. Time to bring in another weps. Oh, that was a good hit. That's gonna go close. That's all I want. Just the artillery, keep raining down on them. Get them to fall back or pin them down. And when you finish off a unit, get the points, obviously. Might be able to finish off another anti-tank gun here. Three and a half minutes to phase C. Got more aircraft coming in. Oh, that was a good hit. Uh oh, this is bad. Two fighters onto one bomber. We're going to lose an aircraft here. There we go. Come on. Oh, Jeppard. Come on. As far as points go, we're starting to fall a bit behind. But no cause of concern yet. It's only 100 points. It's only a couple of units. move that half track back, just move the 88 just a little bit more. And that can only support the Tigers when the Tigers get out in a few more minutes. See if we can go, uh, no, just slightly out of range again. No, can't catch it. Oh, that was dumb moving the 88 so far forward. Oh well, <coughs> live and learn, can't do much about it now. It is toast. Right now, it is starting to become a bit of concern now, falling well behind the Allies as far as destruction points go. And that's the name of the game for victory tonight. Oh, we got it. Yeah, got it to head back. See the jet park and oh, it's a lightning. Yeah, I've moved my anti-tank guns too far forward, also. Right, so we're into phase C in three seconds. Start to bring out some bigger vehicles. Mm, 
Panzers won't bring out the Panzer fours. They're not enough of a don't have enough superiority over the Allied tanks as far as armor goes. The guns are okay. Command vehicle, wish the artillery would. Uh, too late. Alright, about to get another 150 points. Probably just about time, yep, trying to bring out another Tiger. Or uh, the first Tiger for this game. are starting to get a little braver now, starting to push out onto the runway taxiways. The, rules, the Allies are also starting to get quite an advantage in the destruction points. So, uh, as I bring out these heavier vehicles, I'll probably have to start pushing forward a little bit, make sure they're in range so I can do the damage with their high caliber, high performance guns. Troops, a lot of vehicles coming up now. But having said that, all my Panzer Grenadiers are intact. None of them have been wiped out, which is important when you don't have a lot of uh, Panzer Grenadiers to start with. Come on, let's get that command vehicle. Come on, let's, Mr. Panzer. Come on, Jake Panzer, get it. Should be able to get that army duck. Jack Panzer gets a hit. Come on, Tiger, make your presence known. Take out that command vehicle. The artillery's doing a great job here, just keeping everything at bay. Tiger gets its first kill. Oh, they're starting to get a couple of Tigers on the field. Second one's coming up, third one should start coming onto the map shortly. Again, artillery doing the deed, pushing them back again. Everything's staying out of the range of the Tigers and the Jag Panzer. Oh, look at that action. 
back out, come in. Moves him. Should get out of there before the Allied fighters arrive. Yep. Looks like an M10, the artillery was shooting at then. Another tiger. All right, so we've got one tiger in position, the second tiger almost in position, third tiger on the map, and a fourth tiger just requested to move forward. And then we'll start bringing some king tigers on. Third tiger just about to arrive on the field. Move back, Jack Panzer. So we're still 500 points behind, but our um, ability to get back in the game quickly is improving all the time. We have now had three Tigers in the field in the middle of the map. I'm not going to get over excited about how I use them. And there's a fourth Tiger coming up now, as you can see in the forefront of that shot. Should really start putting the artillery down on the anti-tank guns now, just to help help the Tigers. There's nothing on that left-hand side, but a couple in the middle of the map. No point bringing the Panthers out. Just save up for the King Tigers. There we go. Let's get rid of that anti-tank gun. Gonna go close. Well, let's just move the tigers forward just a little bit. Oh, great hit! That artillery round then took out the anti-tank gun. So still 400 points behind, but we're starting to close that amount now. Oh, another good hit. There we go. Closing the gap quickly now. A few hits like that, and we'll start to uh, hopefully move in front. Oh, 
Right, the allies can see that there's a couple of tigers moving forwards, and now they're all backpedalling straight away. Tiger's starting to find the range. There we go. Three vehicles destroyed in less than 30 seconds. And now it's just about all tied up. More damage on those anti-tank guns again. Another vehicle destroyed. Now we're in front. That hasn't taken long at all. Just steady as it goes, play. <coughs> there we go. Lost the tiger. Got a little bit too carefree. That's not going to happen again. No more tigers. So I'm just a little bit behind now since that Tiger was lost. I don't think it was one of mine. I think it was from the 9th Panzer, actually. One, two, yeah, I've still got the four Tigers out. Right, let's bring us some aircraft, see if we can do some damage with that. Get that last anti-tank gun that's visible on the map. There's probably others. Back in front. Uh, some artillery, let's get rid of that. Oh, we have already, excellent. Right, nearly time to bring in a couple of King Tigers, or at least one. So we started with only 49% of the map, so if we only increase that by four, but if we were playing Conquest, we would be getting points. We're slowly starting to pull ahead in destruction points. Another anti-tank gun gone. <coughs> oh, I have lost the tiger now. So I've uh, got 10 points in front, 10 percent in front. Less now. So what did we just lose? Just lost the tiger. Well, the ninth panzer did. I didn't. Actually, 
Right, that's the end of the uh, artillery. Another infantry unit taken out. Get back here. Move back, come on. Don't be silly. So we're just about all square. Tiger's doing a great job in keeping them out of range of the uh, anti-tank guns floating around on the right-hand side of the map. And here come the King Tigers. Jag Panthers run out of ammo. I have to bring them back now to rearm. Doesn't seem as many units moving forward now to probe. Come on, come on, get back. You see the two King Tigers coming up now. Now on this left flank, it's virtually three Tigers holding back the entire 2nd Infantry Division. I think it's, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the 2nd Infantry. Right, let's get the supply truck out, it's no use there, I'm not going to give points away unnecessarily. move forward just a little bit more. <coughs> we'll get this Jack Panzer back now to rearm. There's another supply truck coming up. Excellent. The end of that supply truck, nice little explosion too after it went up. Right, 
King Tiger's coming onto the field now. Another Humber gone. Starting to rack up some points now. It's a shame I got him onto the field so late though. <coughs> Would have liked to have seen more of the King Tigers in action. Pans are trying to go around the right flank now into those buildings. Got quite a few units there that need to be rearmed though. Well, that'll make the M4 move back. Come on, little half track, keep coming down the road. Come and see Mr. Tiger. He's got something for you. Repeat. Tiger, get that half track. Very good. Going to get some more infantry points shortly in the middle near that hangar. Oh, there's another one. King Tigers on the field. Puma, get that bazooka team. Done. Very nice. So we're only 10 points ahead. A 10% of total points ahead. Oh, well that's it. So there you go. Only a minor victory. Did not lose one part of my infantry. Which is important if you have plenty of infantry okay you can put a few to the sword if you so desire but if you've got limited quality troops like the panzer grenadiers yep put them in the field but you've got to look after them so the tigers and the weps really had a field day and my losses yeah not too bad only aircraft really one tiger three aircraft two anti-tank guns and a flak so I hope you enjoyed that game, I certainly did, and if you have anything in particular you'd like me to play, or any particular request, let me know via comments on the YouTube channel, and I'll do my best to accommodate, otherwise until next time, this is the Major out, bye bye.